Welcome to Toddlestein TV. Today we're going to be exploring the A to Z of space. We'll be talking about asteroids to zeniths and everything in between. Let's get started with the letter. A is for asteroid. An asteroid is a small rocky object that orbits the sun. They can range in size from just a few feet to hundreds of miles in diameter. Asteroids are often found in the asteroid belt, a region between Mars and Jupiter. Some asteroids are also known as planetoids or minor planets. B is for black hole. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They form when a massive star dies and collapses in on itself. Black holes are invisible, but their presence can be detected by the way they affect the objects around them. C is for Comet. A comet is a small, icy object that orbits the Sun. When a comet gets close enough to the Sun, the heat causes the ice to vaporize creating a glowing halo around the comet called a coma. Comets also have a tail that can be seen stretching out behind them. D is for dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is a celestial body that orbits the sun and is large enough to be round but not large enough to clear its orbit of other debris. Pluto is perhaps the most famous dwarf planet, but there are several others in our solar system, including Sirius and Eris. E is for Earth, our home planet. It has a solid surface with oceans and an atmosphere that supports life. Earth is the only planet in the solar system known to have life. F is for Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy is a powerful rocket developed by SpaceX. It is currently the most powerful rocket in operation, capable of launching up to 64 metric tons into orbit. Falcon Heavy has been used to launch a variety of payloads, including the Tesla Roadster that was sent into orbit around the Sun. G is for galaxy. A galaxy is a large group of stars, gas and dust held together by gravity. The Milky Way is our home galaxy and it contains hundreds of billions of stars. Wow! There are so many other galaxies in the universe ranging in size from just a few hundred thousand stars to trillions of stars. H is for the Hubble Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is a powerful telescope that orbits the Earth and it has been used to make some of the most stunning astronomical discoveries of all time. It has helped us learn more about the universe from the expansion of space to the composition of distant galaxies. The Hubble has been in operation since 1990 and continues to provide valuable insights into the cosmos. I is for ISS, the International Space Station, a habitable artificial satellite that orbits the Earth. It is a joint project between several space agencies including NASA, ESA and Roscosmos. The ISS serves as a research laboratory and astronauts from around the world conduct experiments there to learn more about life in space. J is for Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and it is known for its massive size and distinct bands of gas that swirled around its atmosphere. Jupiter is also home to the famous Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has raged on the planet for hundreds of years. K is for Kuiper Belt. 
The Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune that is filled with icy bodies, including dwarf planets like Pluto. The Kuiper Belt is also believed to be the source of many comets that enter the inner solar system. L is for lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes between the Sun and the Moon, casting a shadow on the Moon. During a lunar eclipse, the Moon can take on a reddish hue, which has led to the nickname Blood Moon. M is for Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the Red Planet because of its reddish appearance in the sky. Mars has been of particular interest to astronomers because it is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system and may have once harboured life. N is for nebula. A nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in space, often illuminated by nearby stars. They come in many shapes and sizes and some of them, the most famous, include the Eagle Nebula and the Orion Nebula. O is for Oort Cloud. The Oort Cloud is a hypothetical region of the solar system beyond the Kuiper Belt where billions of comets are thought to reside. It is named after the Dutch astronomer Jan Oort who first proposed its existence. P is for Pulsar. A pulsar is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation. They are often used as celestial clocks because of their precise and predictable pulsation rates. Q is for Quasar. Quasars are some of the brightest objects in the universe and they are thought to be powered by supermassive black holes at the centres of galaxies. They emit enormous amounts of energy in the form of light and radio waves, making them visible from billions of light years away. R is for Red Giant. A red giant is a star that has exhausted the fuel in its core and has expanded to many times its original size. They are often found in the later stages of a star's life and are thought to be the fate of our own sun billions of years from now. S is for supernova. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion that occurs when a star runs out of fuel and collapses under the force of gravity. They can release as much energy in a matter of seconds as the sun will emit over its entire lifetime. T is for telescope. Telescopes are instruments used to observe distant objects in space, from planets and stars to galaxies and nebulae. There are many types of telescopes, including optical, radio and x-ray telescopes. U is for universe. The universe is the entirety of all matter and energy, including galaxies, stars, planets and everything else in between. It is estimated to be over 13 billion years old and is constantly expanding. V is for Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the morning star or the evening star. It is the hottest planet in our solar system with surface temperatures that can reach over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's hot! W is for wormhole. A wormhole is a theoretical passage through space-time that could potentially allow for faster than light travel or even time travel. While they have not been observed directly, they are a popular subject in science fiction and theoretical physics. X is for X-ray astronomy. X-ray astronomy is the study of high energy radiation emitted by celestial objects, including black holes, neutron stars and supernova remnants. X-ray telescopes such as NASA's 
Chandra X-ray Observatory are used to observe these objects and study their properties. Y is for Yellow Dwarf. A yellow dwarf is a main sequence star, similar to our sun, that emits most of its energy as visible light. They are among the most common type of star in the galaxy and are thought to be a possible location for life-sustaining planets. Z is for Zenith. The Zenith is the point directly overhead an observer on Earth, opposite the Nadir, or point directly below. It is used as a reference point for measuring altitude and as a guide for celestial navigation. And that's the A to Z of space, complete with X-ray astronomy, yellow dwarfs and the zenith. Thanks for joining us on Toddlestein TV and we hope you learned something new about the wonders of the universe. Please leave me a like and follow my channel. Thank you so much.